Thanks for coming, guys. Honestly, uh, uh, I, if you lot came and you saw the title of the show, uh, you know, and, you know, Curd Your Enthusiasm and you understood the reference it made to Larry David and Curb Your Enthusiasm and you came here... Okay, okay. <laughs> and if you came here expecting a good, wholesome hour of Jewish comedy, then you are going to be fucking disappointed, all right, guys? Because I do come from a Muslim family, okay? <laughs> but who says Muslims and Jews can't occupy the same space? It's that kind of show, guys, all right? <laughs> no, it's good. It is, it's good to be here, though, but because, um, you know, it's not exactly an easy time being Muslim right now, is it? No. Exactly. See the silence in this room? You guys have been loud as shit all night. As soon as I said that, I was like, no, 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 no. It's one of those things you sort of aspire to be in life. You don't think to yourself, oh, I want to be healthy, wealthy, Muslim, yeah? <laughs> Halal meat's not that good, right? No, man, there's a lot of bad press surrounding Muslims right now. You know, you've got ISIS, IS, Daesh, whatever you want to call them. They're like Puff Daddy. They've got a new name after every video, right? <laughs> I'm being serious, man. Those fuckers have got videos in 4K, right? I can't get Netflix to work without cutting out, okay? Just... I did a bit of research on ISIS, right? Okay, not to join or anything. Uh... <laughs> No, I know it doesn't sound convincing dressed in all black in a poorly lit room, but trust me, guys, right? <laughs> they haven't changed their recruitment techniques, okay, guys, right? There's, they're not thinking to themselves, get a comedian. Make him really funny. Then one night in the Royal Ballar of Greenwich. Boom. It's not happening like that, guys, right? No, I did a bit of research to find out who these guys are using Islam's name to do all of these bad things. Did a bit of research, found that ISIS have their own magazine. Blew my mind, guys, right? No, because I thought to myself, honestly, like, what kind of magazine do you have as a terrorist organization? Like, is it their version of Hello Magazine, you know? <laughs> Goodbye. Like, do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> so, you know, what kind of articles do they have in there? Do they have the same sort of stuff we do? Like, do they have weight loss tips in there and stuff? You know, find out how Hassan lost 12 stone in 30 seconds. <laughs> this explosive workout plan is literally suicide. <laughs> like, do they have an agony art section? Or, you know, is somebody writing in, like, you know, does size matter? <laughs> I've been growing my beard for ages, yeah? <laughs> Like, do they ever spot a different section? You know, one's got a head, the other doesn't, you know? <laughs> oh, come on, you can laugh at that shit, man. They're gonna come for me before they come for you, man. You're gonna be there in the corner like, no, I love Ramadan, I... I absolutely love Ramadan. No, I've got a mate at work called Bushra. When she does it, I just join in. What makes matters worse is I'm Kurdish. Now, a lot of people don't know who Kurds are. It's not a fucking protest, guys, all right? Just... <laughs> Kurds are you... That's all my family as well. Uh, no, it's not exactly a good time being Kurdish as well. No, but, you know, I'm Kurdish. A lot of people don't know who Kurds are, right? We're actually the largest ethnic group in the world without an independent country. Yeah, I used to get teased about that as a kid. You know, people say things like, ha-ha, lemon curd, right? Is that... <laughs> Now piss off, James, you ain't got a dad. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I'm just saying, innit? Like, you know, I don't have a country, you don't have a loving home. Um... <laughs> Guess who gets presents? Uh... <laughs> it's crazy, though, right? For those of you that know, Kurds are actually the ones fighting ISIS. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> he says on stage in Greenwich, right? <laughs> I, w I would be useless in that fight against ISIS, right? I've had family members fighting against ISIS, right? I saw my cousin Snapchatting himself from the back of a patrol car with an AK-47. I couldn't do that shit, right? The only thing I know about guns, I've learned from Fast and Furious films, Arnold Schwarzenegger and hip-hop, right, for it? <laughs> I'd be useless on the front lines. What am I going to do? Just turn up with a mic sound like, yo, knock, knock. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just like... I'm gonna do, do that same thing that everybody, that every comedian does when they get to a gig, ask the promoter how it's going. Ooh, well, everybody's okay. There's a stag do from Mosul on the right though, bit rowdy. Everybody else, A-okay. -okay. <laughs> That's the thing though, man. Like, it's, it's hard being Kurdish, right? Like, I mean, I, I, like, I love being Kurdish and I'm very proud of it, but it's not exactly a walk in the park being Kurdish, you know? Cause like my mere existence is political. You're without an independent state, you know? And we're spread between Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. 
Mm, top holiday destinations, right guys? <laughs> No, none of you are looking at, none of you are putting on your Facebook status here back there, 2019 with the lads, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not. <laughs> you know, you can imagine those TripAdvisor reviews already. You know, the hotel did not look like it did in the photos. <laughs> One star and a crescent moon. But well, that's the thing, man. The simple question, where are you from, has been pivotal to where I'm, where I'm from today, you know? Like, it's, it's, cause it's always been hard to, to not, have, not have your own country. You know, I've had a lot of identity issues and stuff, you know? Like, you know, like time and time again, when people were asking me where I'm from, I couldn't just point to a map. You know, the World Cup will come around, big sporting events, people were asking me to point to my team and I couldn't do it. I felt Welsh, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, <laughs> it was, it was hard, man. It was hard, right? Like, uh, because you do grow up with a lot of identity issues if you don't have your own country. Do you have your own country, my friend? Uh, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, come on, it's either a yes or no. Like, Mix, where are you from? Cyprus. Uh, Cyprus, South Africa, and England. You are a fucking, like, fruit salad of colonization. Like, this is just like... <laughs> I love that. Bro, do you know how painful it is not having your own country, right? I'll explain it to you. Like, say you wake up really early in the morning, right? Yeah? And you step on a piece of Lego. <laughs> then you step on a plug, right? <laughs> then you bang your little toe. And you still don't have a fucking country, bro. Right? That's, that's how painful it is, right? That's, really, that's what I'm saying. Like, that simple question, where are you from, is pivotal to who I am today, you know? Because from as young as I can remember, I had to be a political, historical, and geographical expert on the Middle East. You know, I had to know who Kurds were, what other nations were involved. And at five years old, you're not meant to know who NATO and the UN are, bruv, right? <laughs> the only people tasked with international peacekeeping for me at that age were Blue Peter presenters, right? <laughs> like, like, Connie Huck was my Kofi Annan. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, 